Dan Goodrich, the uh, Rotary District Governor, uh, is here to talk about a golf tournament and more. But I want to say right up front, first of all, welcome to the program. Thank you, Patrick. And second of all, the golf tournament for golfing is completely sold out. It is. It's a great problem to have. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but you do have availability for the awards dinner afterwards, which is going to be a great dinner because it's down to Fantasy Springs. That's right. It's only $30, and it's going to be a great opportunity for folks to come out and recognize uh, you put this golf tournament together. It is on Saturday, September the 11th, and it is to honor uh, frontline workers. First responders, yeah. Yes. So we're throwing this tournament together, if you will, because we wanted to honor our first responders on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Proceeds from the tournament are going to go to Officers Down Fund and National Fallen, Fallen Firefighters Fund. Those are funds that help families of those who've lost their loved ones in the line of duty. So even though you can't play golf in the tournament, uh, they will happily have you come to dinner and the $30 dinner proceeds also go to benefit those various funds. And I know the Chef Freddy will put together an excellent uh, program for you for dinner, so it's always good. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the Rotary Clubs throughout the Coachella Valley. There, there are any number of them and you guys are always welcoming new members. Oh, Rotary is just a fantastic service group. I, I'm sure you're well aware of some of the things that happen out here in the desert, but 16 clubs out throughout Coachella. You know, during the pandemic, all the clubs out here stepped up. Uh, everything from providing food and to the shut-ins and taking people to vaccine clinics, everything A to Z. And so we couldn't be more proud of the Rotary Clubs that are out here and the services that they provide to each one of the cities that are out here. Rotary, of course, is a service organization. And uh, yeah, we're always looking for members. It's always an opportunity to serve your community because every community has needs. And I know that each of the different Rotary organizations in the Valley has specific projects that you can get involved with throughout the year. Uh, tell me a little bit about your role as district governor. So our demographic area is kind of large. I, I'm taking in all the way from the Fontana area out on the west side, all the way out to Indio here on the east side, and then Lake Arrowhead up in the mountains down to Temecula in the south, 61 Rotary clubs. Wow. A uh, little less than 2,000 members in our district all with the like mind of providing humanity and community service. I know that there are sunrise rotaries, there are lunchtime rotaries, so there's something to fit everybody's schedule. Yeah, we have morning, lunch, and dinner just about everywhere you want to look. Whatever fits your schedule, there's a Rotary Club that can provide it for you. Uh, I've spoken to many of the Rotary Clubs uh, throughout the Valley over the years, and uh, as you say, everybody has one common purpose, and that's to come together to serve the community. So we really appreciate what you all are doing. Well. It's a way of life for us who do service, and, in, and providing service for those in need is something that touches everyone's heart, not just the beneficiaries. Absolutely. Let me put up the information again. The golf portion of the program is sold out, but on Saturday, September 11th, you can enjoy a delicious meal at the Eagle Falls and help support first responders uh, and support the Rotary Club. Pleasure to have you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Patrick. Always a pleasure.